welcome. It's another episode of Trail Makers. And today, as promised, I am going to be making a tutorial on how to make a stabilization for Roland Peach. Just like in this thing, which can automatically recover its position to be straight. And the mechanism is actually quite easy, it only requires two of those angle sensors and one helicopter engine and the upper pretty much the same, there is a very little difference. Now, first I'm gonna sh to show you how to work. Also, optionally you can also use an exorbate to, to deactivate them when you want to turn, so they don't interfere with your turning. Now, first to explain how it works. As you can see, it corrects itself, of course. If you do this, it corrects itself too. And how this works is that I have some angle sensors that to detect if they they detect when they are in the blue field, the arrow. And what that does, it that connects to this gate in this case, which just makes it so when I press the button, this gets deactivated, so it doesn't correct my movements. But this then sends, normally sends the signal to this, and one is on negative output, so it will go the opposite way from this one, which is on positive. So, and you end up with this effect. So, as you can see, it's actually quite simple. How you do those is you can set the width, width and the direction of where the thing is. And what that changes is with the long length of this blue thingy. And what direction ch changes is the position of it. Now, it's good to hold it at around. 99, something like that, and uh, then you have to uh, make this one 79 so that ends exactly at the end because you don't want to go into that. Oh, it's not hard. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, now this will get back. So, that's pretty much all you need to know how to make it. Except the second one. Oh no, I messed up. And this one. This one. This one needs to be a negative 99. Because mine is a thing. This one's. And now, the negative one with the negative direction has to have the negative outpo output. And the one with positive direction has to have a positive output. And if you want to override them, you just put the logic gate, connect them to the logic gate, and then the logic gate to this. And you just write your steering in it. This is for my role. This is the logic gate for pitch and yaw. I mean, only pitch. You can't change, stabilize the yaw, because it just does not work. Because the comp. the angle sensor will be always facing forwards because, well, it's the hand. It's always forward because the forward of the creation is forward. Also, if you want to be able to override them and steer with them, you need to have the settings both in them and in the gate, I think. Because then you are able to still control the spin, even when the gate is off. Which means that your correction doesn't go in and try to fix it. Also, another important thing to remember, if you want to have your, no, not your, pitch, it needs to be on the side of your creation, so that the arrow is facing upwards. Then it will control your yaw, and if you want to roll, it has to be on the back or the front of your vehicle, so that the arrow is pointing upwards. Then, when you the, the vehicle rolls, the arrow will go into different place, and with pitch, the arrow will also move when you pitch. That's how it works. So that's pretty much all of it. Now I can show you just how to build it, even though I already explained how it works. So how we build it is just you take a seat. I will take a diving bell because it's well, it's easier, and I will only do each because they are both the same, you just have to put in different places your helicopter engines and your 
sensors, your angle sensors. So you just have to take your propulsion, take your helicopter engine, put it on the side, slap it like this. Then you take your angle sensors, which are under logic. Angle sensor here. Here I will place this. Maybe, maybe we can give it. It will also work. One at the front, one at the back. Thanks to this, it will be more even. Okay. Now what you want to do is take them and do with around 180. Then you the, the direction to round 90. Then it will be perfectly straight. And you just make your direction a bit lower. For example, I mean, high, high, high. Well, now there's a one degree space between this arrow and this place. So, what you need to watch out is to leave enough space between those. Otherwise, you will go into something called a feedback loop, which is not something you want. Because, well, I will try in a moment, but let's see, you, you just wiggle that, okay? Like, for example, now we have 2 degrees of freeze rotation space, because, I did it wrong, but, mm, because both, I mean, between this arrow and this blue, there's 1 degree, and between this arrow and this blue, there's 1 degree too. So I did this wrong, those have to be on the side. That's it. Yeah. Because we are doing each as well. Okay, so I will do it this way. Okay. And well, I will show you first without the override. We just hook them up into this. Take the negative one, it's the top one in this case. Do it to a minus output. Take it. Build it and then it's done. But then, then you then it will start correcting itself. Okay, sorry for the audio. I forgot to take the right mic into OBS, so it will be it might be pretty quiet at the beginning. I will try to bump it up in the editing. So now you just need to well, this is pretty much the thing done. But now I will also first do at the bottom. Now I can show you that this works. Yes, it works. But as you can see, we can't really move after that point. That's because it counteracts our movement. So what you need to do in this case is take logic, takes an XOR gate, which outputs a signal if only one of the inputs is one, none other are one. So everything except one is zero. And now you connect this, take it. You connect with the seat, you assign the same controls as there. Then you take both of your sensors, angle sensors, and you attach, take them to control this and stop controlling the helicopter engine and take the gate to control the helicopter engine. Now what will happen is you can roll freely as long as you want. Oh, and this is the feedback loop. I stopped rolling, but the Sorry, it really does do a lot of movement. But the thing is correcting itself into the other one and trying to correct and just it goes in circles and it won't stop. So in this case, what you sh should do is first lower the speed of your engines, unless you want them to be really fast, but I wouldn't recommend that. For example, in this case, maybe two would be okay. With this, you need to experiment. Okay, two is a little not enough. Maybe more like three. Okay. Now, as you can see, it still goes into the feedback loop. That's because we didn't leave too much space in here. Now, you just can do, for example, my, uh, yeah, minus minus ninety three. No, not minus nine. Minus nine ninety three. Okay. Now here are three degrees of freedom and here change it to 93 and we have six degrees of freedom in place of just two i mean see so now there is no feedback loop because it corrects itself and if we do that it will well 
you still might tweak it a bit. You might need to make this helicopter engine slower or those add them a bit more space. For example, make this into minus 97 degree, 97, minus 97 degrees. This one, same, just without the minus. Now there's even more space. And now they shouldn't go into as much of a feedback loop. Well, unless in this case it goes in this position, then it will pretty much do that. But that, that's not really a problem. Now, for example, in the ornithopter, I have the automatic correction add speed of 6. But this is a big creation and we have quite a lot of free space here. Although on the bottom for some reason. So we don't actually have as much as I thought. We have we have around yeah we have around five degrees of freedom there so overall it's ten and as you can see they are not the fastest but fast enough so destabilization is super easy thanks to this this thing can fly straight so that's really nice you don't have to make your planes, submarines to be perfectly balanced to fly straight. You can just use this, it will correct itself. It can be a bit slow, for example, with this thing, but it works, as you can see, it corrected. So, I hope this tutorial will be useful, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, see you in the next episode. Bye!